Hello Capricorn, welcome on my channel Triple Two Tarot. This is your girl TM and today I'm doing your November 2019 general love reading. Let's see what is the main theme for you in love, in career, in your job, whatever is your main theme for November 2019 and who is coming towards you in love, what is happening in your love life, okay, for the month of November. 2019 keep in mind this is only a general reading it may not resonate with everyone okay so you can come to me for personal reading if you want to details are and prices are given on my channel let's see what is happening for my capricorn people out there energy could be vice versa you can switch the energies if you're a cross watcher looking for capricorn so just take what resonates with you because I'm just picking up the energies here. Let's see what is the main theme for my Capricorn peoples out there. Wow, I think Pisces got this reading too. So yeah, so you could be dealing with Pisces for some of you. Okay, so the main theme for you here is the month of November. You have the love card here. Look at this, the blossom, the flowers, okay. So yeah, I feel uh, more than, I feel that someone is coming back. In your life the love is coming back you could be falling in love or someone is falling in love with you but the love is around you the main theme for you in the month of November is love you're feeling love you feel you feel loved are you are feeling in love are you are falling in love so what <laughs> take what resonates with you so yeah the main theme for you here is the love Wow what a beautiful card here the next you have from oracles you have the forgiveness yeah look at this there was talking about someone is coming back into your life that will make you happy you were in love with this person i feel here this is the person that you were praying you were manifesting because we have the moon here okay so this could be new beginning okay uh, this new moon definitely bringing something new in your life new love could be this is new love new opportunities in love is coming in your way meeting new people um are falling in love with new people talking with new people something like that but i also feel majority of you could be 50 percent of you i feel this is reconciliation like someone coming from the past that you were manifesting you are praying you are in love with they're coming back so you will be extremely happy when this person come back or will communicate with you so the love is here right this is the main theme for you so let's see who is coming towards you? What is their intentions? Okay, what they are bringing in the month of November 2019 towards my Capricorns people. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see who is coming towards Capricorn. The main theme for you here is forgiveness. Someone definitely wants a second chance from you in love. They want forgiveness. And uh, for others of you, it could be possible you're forgiving your past and you're moving on. You're falling in new love. This is love. This is like you are definitely in love. There's a lot. I will not take it. So let's see. Okay. Let's see. Wow, <laughs> definitely I was talking about it. What is the outcome, please? Okay, okay. Advice for you guys. Okay, so what I have here is the you have the four of cups on my table. Could be dealing with water sign. Okay, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Four of cups. So I feel this is you you feel like this person will never come back to you if this is reconciliation if you talk about reconciliation you offered this person love you offered this person everything but this person could be rejected you in the past or uh, there was a reason they were not ready i'm i'm hearing that intuitively i'm hearing that there was a reason that this person was not accepted that offer in that time. I don't know what they did, but this definitely this person did not choose you. They ignored you. They did not acknowledge your love. Um, but now this person, because this oracle is saying to you that forgiveness, this person wants forgiveness from you. They're sorry that they did not choose you. They rejected you. They're sorry and they want forgiveness. This is the person who hurt you. This is the person who ignored you. This is a person who is from the past. 
I'm talking about. Okay, with the Four of Cups. Because clear by, we have the Sun card. This is the Leo. You could be dealing with Leo. Okay, someone could, win, uh, someone could have uh, children already. Okay, or you could be dealing with someone who has children. So you're the Sun card, Leo. I feel when this person will come back to you, will communicate with you, you will be extremely happy. The Sun card. The, it's like, you, I'm, I'm telling you, you will be extremely happy no matter what. If this is new love, if this is reconciliation, whatever the reason is, because the love is around you and you will be extremely happy. You will blossom like that, like flowers, the sun, okay? The sun is also talk about clarity, like someone is communicating with you clearly. They're telling you how they truly feel and you have been waiting for this person years and years that finally they are speaking up their truth, that how they feel, okay? The next you have the temperance. Could be dealing with Sagittarius, and then you have the judgment, Scorpio, Major Arcana on my table. These two cards screaming very loudly, talking about reconciliation, right? The judgment, new beginning, starting with the zero. Transformation. Temperance, you have been patient, you are healing, and you are waiting for this person to come back, and finally they are here, and you can see these angels, so the universe is giving you a chance, okay, to meet this person again, to forgive this person again if you want to. It's up to you, but I feel this is the person, if you have been waiting, if you have been praying, manifesting this reconciliation, this is the person that you wanted to be again, so congratulations, this person is coming back in the month of November for reconciliation. And universe is giving you a chance like waking, this person is waking up toward this connection. They already, I feel like, wake up, waking up to this connection and they're coming back towards you. Okay? They want forgiveness. This is how the, I see the oracle and I just got intuitively like, yes, new moon, new beginning, it's like it's here. This person is coming. And you manifested it, you prayed this. You wished for this and finally this person is here. So congratulations if you're waiting for reconciliation. And if it's not the reconciliation for some of you, you are doing your own healing. You're working on yourself, okay? You're making yourself happy and the sun is also talk about healing, soul healing, okay? And you're transforming. You're totally transforming. You're leaving the past behind and you're ready for something new, new love. This is for those people, okay? The next you have... The Three of Swords, oops, could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius you're dealing with, okay, so you were heartbroken, there was no communication, there was, could be a third party situation for some of you, uh, there was no communication, you were breaking, you, this person could break, broke your heart, okay, in the past, and finally this person is coming for sorry, they want sorry, they want forgiveness, uh, because uh, they don't want to lose you. And for others of you, it's looked like uh, you were heartbroken um, and you are trying to heal yourself and you've done your work. You're doing your work and you're moving on. It wants moving on. It's also talk about spiritual healing, spiritual work. You're doing spiritual work. You're trying to heal from those heartbreaks from the past. You're not into pain anymore. You're trying to move on and you are moving on. You're not stuck in anything with the eight of wands. Could be Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. You're dealing with, we have the two fire sign, Leo and Sagittarius already on, the, on my table. So yeah, it's here. Eight of wands also talk about communication coming from the distance. If this person live on the distance, could be traveling to see you. But whatever it is with the eight of wands and the sun, you are extremely happy. If you're moving on, you're happy. You're getting clarity, you're trying to heal yourself, and you're moving on. You're accepting, you're going with the flow. And for those of you, like, this communication is coming from this person, uh, and this apology, this second chance, this reconciliation, whatever it is coming in your way, you will be extremely happy with the past person, the son. You will jump in joy, like, yes, I wished for it, finally, this is here. Okay? So what is the outcome between you and this person? You have the nine of swords. So yeah, it right now could be you are definitely up at night. You are, you are definitely worried about it, that uh, when this person will come back to you, when there will be communication. And uh, for some of you, it could be possible you're moving on from this situation. You don't want to think about the past. 
and you're working on yourself, you you definitely want to get over from this energy, and you are doing it with the Five of Cups rewards here. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, you're dealing with. So yeah, look at this. You're, you're definitely leaving the past behind. You're getting over from the past energy, anxiety, depression. You don't want to go into past back. You're moving on. For others of you, this will the past is coming back towards you. The person who left you in this situation, they're coming back. Okay, this is the outcome. I'm, I'm strongly feeling like reconciliation is happening. It's, it's like you wished for it, you prayed for it for this person, and finally this person is here. And for others of you, very few of you, I feel that you're moving on. You don't want to wait for anyone, anyone anymore, because this person definitely break your heart. They definitely left you here in the dark, uh, in the dark period, in the dark night, and you were alone fighting with these uh, dark situations or with your anxiety, whatever it was, and you're trying to move on. You don't want to give this person a chance anymore, okay? What is advice for you? You have the Ten of Cups, okay? So advice for you here is that make yourself happy, no matter what. Find your true happiness. Whatever makes you happy, just do it. If you really want to give this person a chance and if you feel like this person is good for you and healthy for you, then please give this person a chance because I feel someone is coming from the past. They want forgiveness. They want second chance. If it's not, then move on. Thus, just find your own happiness. Ten of Cups. Who, what makes you happy? What makes you happy? For others of you, you could be already married with this person and this person is coming back and finally you're making your family happy. For others of you, it could be possible that this person is already married but they're coming back towards you and you're getting into family. You're definitely attaching with this person family and you are becoming a one family. So advice is here for you. Whatever makes you happy, please choose that way. Follow your passion, follow your path and follow your happiness. Follow your heart desires. That is advice for you. So this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Love for November 2019. I really hope it resonated for you guys. Like, share, and subscribe my channel. God bless you.